Good morning and happy Friday. This is Market Paradigm. And as promised, I want to do a video update on the brochure. But uh, as you know, this is a lot more than just a brochure update. This is a total branding update, uh, which would include the electronic presentation that's going to be uh, paired with this. And then also, of course, in six to seven weeks, the, uh, the new uh, refreshed EnviroGuard website. So everything that you see here in terms of imagery and everything is going to be continued across all of our different marketing platforms. And it's also going to become available to you on your website. And uh, we're going to, of course, turn this into a big marketing and sales campaign for your company. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see, nothing much different on the front page here. Um, that's the, of course, co-brand section with your company information, mold and moisture control. And as we get into the real first page here, um, you can see now we are spreading this introduction across the uh, entire first page. And, uh, of course, that needs to be a six-step process because, as you can see, now step number one is site assessment. Um, this is going to be a great starting point to really start uh, building value in the services that you offer because everything that we're going to do is per uh, S520 standard, right? Information gathering, building inspection, preliminary determinations, and work plans. And as usual, we're going back to S520 and we've got the ability to explain that to customers. The other thing is that uh, this is also going to help you with your transition to what uh, steps are going to come next after the site assessment. If we're in a condition one status already, we can go right into moisture control services. However, if we're in a condition two or a condition three status, then we're going to have to go with our uh, remediation uh, first before we get into those moisture control services. Now, last week also, I put this little pyramid out and um, we're going to play with this a little bit before we call this done here. I'm not thrilled with exactly how it looks on paper um, because I, I firmly believe um, just like we see here with you know HEPA vacuum, picture of an air scrubber or, or whatever, we need to make sure that for the um, source removal step there that we pair the Oxypar picture with that, okay? And uh, I kind of want to clean this up a little bit so it's not just a big chunk of, uh, of content, um, of written content anyway. So we'll get that cleaned up and looking really good on this page. That will flow right into our site preparation. None of this has changed. Um, so site preparation, removal of insulation, all those types of things that we talked about, all that's going to stay true. You can see a little update here. Um, not, not a whole lot. When we go over into step three, the structural cleaning and mold remediation step, again, not a whole lot of change on this page, but as promised, we wanted to provide a great uh, picture of what happens when you spray Oxypar on the surface in order to um, provide a visual ID for contamination, and then a good before and after picture, um, and that of course should say after Oxypar. So just little edits that are gonna happen today. Flipping around to moisture release, I still need to remove that in crawl spaces because as you can see when we're talking about moisture release, we're going to of course refer to attics, basements, or crawl spaces and talk a little bit about what those moisture release controls would or should look like in those spaces. Um, and of course we do provide in here uh, a little bit further detail about crawl spaces and a vapor barrier, okay? Um, then we begin transitioning into, you know, from moisture releases, which does include this information here, over into controlled ventilation. Now, as you can see, we've pulled all of this information together about Atmox, um, and then we begin explaining it, right? Moist how moisture generation happens uh, around the house, you know, what's what we're trying to accomplish in a controlled uh, ventilation system for attics and crawl spaces, um, and then how heat and moisture and everything um, should be moving in and around uh, an attic space, etc. Now, we do a transition here. Because the controlled ventilation system only introduces fresh, dry air when it's available, 
there will always be times of increasing humidity in unconditioned spaces, okay? So we want to be able to make that transition then to the need for surface protection, right? These two things work together. Instead of a dehumidifier, we're using a no energy um, way of accomplishing uh, the same work, but uh, in, a, in a lot smarter uh, way that, that, uh, that uh, introduces indoor air, or fresh uh, indoor air quality. So uh, this is where we begin talking about surface protection. Not a whole lot that's different here, maybe a little um, less cluttered, okay, a little cleaner looking. Um, and then we roll directly from surface protection, which would have been step six, and we transition out of things back into long-term services. I didn't like the picture that was at the bottom of this. I'm not sure about that either. I'll talk to Steven about that picture this morning. Um, but like I said, this is going to be the final day of edit for this brochure. Next week we will go to print on this. And in fact, we're gonna be introducing this brochure at the uh, mold and moisture control training in Indianapolis. So if you haven't registered for that uh, free class, go ahead and do so. It's gonna be the only time that we're up in the Midwest from what I can tell through the end of the year. And it's your opportunity to bring your team together, get them into this, learn um, not only the technical stuff, but learn how the technical stuff informs the practical information that we need to pass on to the customers so that you are by far the choice in your region for both mold remediation and moisture control services. So hopefully whoever's up in the Midwest, we will see you next Wednesday, uh, May 20th in Indianapolis, Indiana. Go to uh, restoration-chemicals.com to get more information and to learn how to register for that. See you guys out there.